Want to run a server on PCVR or Quest? You need to learn to use the dashboard in order to do that. I can help with setting you on the right path to learning how to use commands, as well as banning other players on your server, and all those other things server owners and moderators need to know. To access the dashboard, follow the first link in the description to the dashboard website. My version is dark because of the Midnight Lizard browser extension. Here, you will need to log in. After you log in, click on the Alta logo, and then click on Servers. This will show you all the servers you are currently in. Head to the drop-down menu here, and select Console. This will show you the servers you have console access to. Click on your desired server to enter the server's dashboard. The Command Runner module is what you're going to mostly be using, but other modules can be useful as well. You can add more and move them around as you please. For the Command Runner, you will need to type commands in here, and they will happen. Pretty self-explanatory. At least one person needs to be online on the server for commands to go through. Before we get into commands, let's look in the ban module for one second. You should probably refrain from banning players with commands. Instead, add the bans module with the drop-down and ban people using this instead. I don't want two on my server anymore, so bye-bye they go. If you want to use timed bans, then you may need to use the command instead. Here's the command. Put in the player name or ID, time in hours, and the reason in quotes. If the player's username has spaces in it, use quotes around their name, or use their player ID. You can also just remove the spaces. Remember, there is no unban command, so to unban someone who was banned via command, you will need to ban them again using the ban module, and then unban them. There are many commands you can use. You can find pretty much every single one somewhere on the primer. Oddmelon's primer has links to pretty much every resource you need for server stuff. The two resources I keep coming back to are Fire's dashboard manual and CJ's item list. The dash manual has all the basic server commands you need, like wiping the server, resetting players, sending server messages, teleporting, and other server settings like turning off dropped items on death, or changing if PvP is allowed or not. The other resource is CJ's item list. The item list shows the command to either spawn or trade post items. Clicking on the other tab shows an absolutely massive list of every single object that you can currently spawn in the game. Simply follow the command layout and put in the name of the item you want. Since you cannot spawn items on quest, make sure you use the trade post version of the command. Some items are not spawnable on quest. You can tell based on the color here. Not everything works completely as intended, so be mindful of what you're spawning in. If you want to spawn in something as a certain material, you can. Though remember you can only do this for objects in the game that are meant to have different textures, like metal blades, handles, or any crafted item like bags or cauldrons. Simply type what you want to spawn, and then add the material after. You can also add forged to make the blade forged if you need to. Some other links that can be useful are Hazy's dashboard manual, which is pretty much a text tutorial for using the dashboard. Oddmelon's Quest Primer, which is a text tutorial aimed at Quest users, and a few others. I recommend going through most of them just to build your knowledge on commands and what you can do. If you want, you can also join the meta server, where you may ask questions about commands and other subjects like that. There is also a bot, Town Librarian, who may answer your questions for you. If you cannot find the answer to your question anywhere, Try searching for someone else asking the same question, and more likely than not, there will be someone who has answered it already. It's normally faster to find the solution yourself than it is to wait and hope someone answers it for you. Do not expect others to answer. You have the exact same resources as everybody else. As a server owner, you can change server settings like server name or description, as well as giving other players moderator privileges. To do so, you will need to open the launcher on the Windows machine. You can download it from the Alta website. This is used for Quest as well as PCVR. Once the launcher is open, 
Simply find your server on the right side and then click the cog at the top. Here, you can change the server name, description, and all those other wacky things. To give another player a moderator role, simply go to the player list and click on their name and give them the role. You can also kick and ban players from this list. If you play on PC VR, then you also have access to the Prefabulator, which is a tool you can use which makes it a lot easier to spawn in things, as well as some cool other tricks. I may make a separate tutorial for the Prefabulator, though it is really intuitive. You can find a link to download it in Oddmelon's Primer. Well, that's pretty much everything you need to know about commands and server stuff. Remember, if you want to know what the command for something is, just look in the Primer. It's most likely already there.